Hello history fans, today we are exploring Castle Sinclair Guernigo. It sits in a strategically important position on a rocky promontory jutting out into Sinclair Bay, three miles north of Wick. A castle has stood here since the 1300s, but little is known about this earlier structure. This is actually the tale of two castles. The earliest of the two existing castles was called Guernigo and was built between 1476 and 1496 by William Sinclair, 2nd Earl of Caithness. In being granted this earldom in 1455, he had to forfeit the earldom of Orkney, including its castle in Kirkwall, and likely built Guernigo to maintain a stronghold in his new territory. In 1577, George Sinclair IV, Earl of Caithness, imprisoned his own son John in the castle for seven years on suspicion of rebelling against his rule, after which his father fed him a diet of salted beef with nothing to drink, so that he eventually died insane from thirst. Sinclair Castle was built towards the west in 1606. It was connected to Guernigo Castle by a drawbridge over a ravine. George Sinclair, 5th Earl of Caithness, requested to the Scottish Parliament to change the name to Sinclair Castle. However, both Sinclair and Guernigo were still used in the 1700s and so are still in use today. During the Civil War in the 1650s, Cromwell's troops used it as their main garrison in the north, in which time the castle was damaged. In 1672, George Sinclair VI, Earl of Caithness, transferred the castle to his fourth cousin, John Campbell of Glenorchy, to pay his debts to him. When Sinclair died four years later with no heir, Campbell claimed the title Earl of Caithness for himself and married Sinclair's widow. However, Sinclair's first cousin, George Sinclair of Caithness, challenged Campbell's title. In 1680, he ousted John Campbell from the castle and destroyed much of it in the process. The castle was never restored. Much of the western part of the castle's stone has been robbed away, however the eastern part was saved the same fate as the inner moat proved an effective barrier once the drawbridge had been destroyed. The castle is now owned by the Clan Sinclair Trust and is being restored, which is why we were unable to explore the whole castle on our visit, but can at least admire the ruins from the outside. I hope you enjoyed the brief history and exploration of the Guernigo and Sinclair castles. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing as we explore more relics and ruins. Bye for now.